I was recently asked to film some products for brands and include them on my YouTube channel, but when I asked my camera buddies to help me with a last minute filming sesh, nobody was free. Now I could do a video just sitting at home talking about the products and that would be fine. And this is a tripod, and much like the three legged octopus. It has three legs. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to showcase these products being used in the wild. And it made me wonder, could I do it all myself? Maybe, but there are going to be a few challenges. Firstly, I only have one day to film because I'm going away. Products have to be shown being used, which means I need to appear in the shot. I really want it to look like somebody else has filmed it, and that means bringing more camera gear. It needs to look epic, so I need to choose the right location. Oh, and I've decided to take photos. I've no idea why I suggested that, because I'm no photographer. So, I set off to find out if it could be done, but I ran into a few problems that I want to share with you. I had roughly seven hours in total to leave the house, get to the location, and that probably left me with two to three hours to film and have a quick snack, and then obviously walk back down the hill again, and then I had to leave. Hiking up that hill was exhausting. I had to stop a few times, so that ate into my filming time. When you're filming, you need as much energy as possible, and that was just draining my energy by the second. This could be the most ambitious filming day I've ever done. It's a trek, look. All the gear I've got, this is heavy. It's not gonna be easy. Nice view though. Once I got to the top of the hill, there was another issue. It was very windy. The problem I'm having is, because it is so windy, the slider's getting blown about everywhere. And this is a great spot, but I think I'm gonna have to move into some shelter. And this was making my tripod wobble, so all my shots were unstable. And then the weather wasn't great, which meant the exposure was all over the place. One minute it was sunny, the next minute it cloud over, so my shots were really dark. And obviously because I was away from the camera, I couldn't check the exposure all the time, or easily. I didn't know what it was gonna look like. There's my stuff, look. All the way over there, I'm dangling down here, looking at that. Because the camera is all the way over there, look, I need to make sure the framing's all right. So I'm using the Lumix app to connect to my camera. And I've also got the wireless connection to my slider. And then I can set the movements, make sure I'm in the frame, press record, and away we go. Hopefully I've got the shot. But what happened is every time you switch between the slider app and the Lumix app, they disconnected each time. And then it had to reconnect, which took ages. I was wasting a lot of time just setting up the framing. And that was kind of holding me back. Plus the exposure looks completely different on the phone screen compared to the camera LCD display. So you need to make sure you turn on some sort of exposure metering while you're using your phone, otherwise you'll end up with badly exposed shots like I did. If you are going to go down the wireless route, I highly recommend the Axoon Cineview SE. It's basically a wireless transmission system that lets you hook your camera up to your external monitor. And then I can wirelessly monitor my framing, my exposure, and my focus with this wireless focus motor. I'm doing a full video on this in the next couple of weeks, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss it because it's going to be a fun one. Just been filming, right? Pointing my camera over there at that mountain thing. Woman comes past. What are you taking pictures of? It's obvious, isn't it? The thing that I'm pointing the camera at. So there are three main products that I need to film. One of them is Polar Pro's Elements clothing line. Absolutely love it. For me, I find it hard to get clothes that fit. So I'm quite a small shape, but these fit perfectly. And what I like about the colours is they design them with people like us in mind, creators in mind, who either want to stand out in the environment that they're in or blend into it. And I think that's a great idea because when you're taking photos or videos, it's all about the aesthetic. And something like this just looks so good out in these natural environments. Also got a t-shirt and that little fleece that I was wearing in the video. Check this out. They've got lens cleaning cloths within the pockets. So if you've got a little bit of dust on your lens or your filter, Filter, just whip that straight out of your pocket, give it a wipey, pop it away, and you're done. You're good to go and film. The second product super excited about is the Omni Charge, which is a battery pack or portable charger. If you don't want to take a load of spare batteries with you, just take this instead and then you can recharge everything. So I used a full battery on my drone. If I wanted to use it again, I could pop it into this. I can charge my laptop from here, my camera, charge my phone all at the same time. I don't even have to plug it in. I just sit it on top. So that means I don't have to waste a USB space on my phone. I can have that on top and charge other things. I could even power my slider at the same time. I 
think it's an essential for travel. Love it. The third product was this Ulanzi tripod. Made out of carbon fibre and it's so lightweight and small that it fits on the side of both my camera bags, even my small one. Look at that. So what I've been doing is using this a lot for my behind the scenes content. What's really handy about this tripod is it's super light, really easy to set up. And I've only just got here but already I've set it up and packed it away about 16 times because I've needed to get... <coughs> fly because I've needed to get shots in different locations. So I do have a confession. I'm ashamed to say I didn't get the shots that I needed. Right, I'm heading back now because I've run out of time. I've lost the patience, if I'm honest. And I definitely set myself an over ambitious goal. Not normally uh, defeated like this, but at least I got to see that again. The slider was the main part of this whole project because that is what was going to give me the movement in the shots that I needed. And I thought it was going to be a fast enough movement with the slider, but I had a problem. See, the problem with this slider is it's quite slow and I want these shots to be fast moving. And this was what I was worried about. <laughs> I want a fast paced edit, not a lazy Susan. It doesn't even look like the camera's moving at all and it kind of ruined the whole thing. The biggest takeaway from all this is it's so difficult to film by yourself, so try and get somebody else to film. However, if you do still want to try and film yourself, I'm gonna give you some tips and hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes. I think to be honest, most of it comes down to the speed of the slider. If you get a faster slider and you follow the tips within this video, you'll definitely be able to get some really epic looking shots and make it look like someone else has filmed you. And I've got a slider coming soon, so fingers crossed it can do the job. And then I'm gonna try this little challenge again. Choose one product to film in a day. Don't give yourself way too much things to do because it'll stress you out and your brain will be thinking too far ahead. My brain's not working. I don't know what shots I need. There was a lot to get done in such a short amount of time and I was just stressing about everything. While you're focusing on one thing, in the back of your mind you're thinking, I need to hurry up and be quick because I've got so much other stuff to do. If you've just got one thing to focus on, you can relax a little bit and take your time with each product and focus on it properly. Obviously, you don't have control over the weather, but you do have control of when you go out to film. For example, rather than going out in midday like I did when the sun was harsh, you could go early in the morning if you don't mind getting up super early. I'm not a fan. Or later in the evening when the light is nice and soft and you don't get those harsh shadows. You can even check the position of where the sun's gonna be before you go using the Helios app. I wanted a particular background, but because the sun was in an awkward position at that time, the lighting looked really flat and amateurish. I really wasn't happy with it at all. I was so disappointed. <laughs> it's embarrassing. And it just shows you how much the time of day and the lighting conditions can affect the quality of your shot. I also wanted to film behind the scenes content but that was just another thing to think about. I have to set up one camera, then another camera, another tripod and it was just blowing my mind. Trying to think about the process and think about what I needed to do was enough without having to vlog about it. What you could do is strap a 360 camera to your head, like a head strap, and just leave that running while you're out. If you think about anything, you can just speak it out loud and that's gonna capture it. Great idea, actually. Might try that next time. What I didn't tell you was, I actually left myself one safety day spare just in case this happened. And I actually managed to get a few shots with the help of Willy Bobby. I didn't get the epic shots I'd hoped to begin with, but at least I managed to get some coverage for this video. You're probably wondering about the photos. Yeah, I didn't have enough time for that either. <laughs> Basically, this day was just one massive fail, wasn't it? But I did have a tiny little bit of spare time, so I went out on my own and took some pictures using the Lumix app and the Ulanzi tripod that you saw earlier. Now, if you're usually the one behind the camera and you're not worried about trying to film yourself, but you're looking to add a little bit more spice to your shots, then I recommend watching this video here because it's gonna give you some ideas for more professional looking, and dare I say it, cinematic camera movement. 